All right, today we are going to talk about BAQs. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about uh, what to do if you've got missing records or if you want to do a running total. Um, I'm going to use uh, some of the, I'm going to actually use the GL period balance uh, for my example, but this is the same idea is relevant for things like, um, oh, if I wanted to look at a customer's sales by month, uh, what if they had sales January, February, but didn't have sales in March and um, had sales in April. Uh, normal query, you're just going to end up with no record for February or for March. Um, let's look at what we've got here in this example. So I'm just looking at a period balance here for a single account and a single book. So if I run this, I see back in 2018, I have a record for the fourth period and the fifth period. And that's it. Um, some don't have many periods there. Um, there were 12 periods in 2018. Uh, so what if I wanted a query that showed all of those periods and indicated that I had zero balance? And I wanted to show the running total for the uh, for the full year to date. All right, let's make that happen. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make it, I'm going to clear this off, and I'm going to make a new query. All right, so I'm going to do some kind of strange things. First, I'm just going to clean up some stuff here. I'm going to make a top level query, and actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an <laughs> inner subquery. Um, I'm going to call that my count periods. Um, well, I'm playing with things. I'm going to leave it as my, I'm going to make it my top level so it's easier to play with it. Um, so this subquery, I'm going to make a list of my GL accounts and all the periods. Because as long as I've got a list of all my GL accounts and periods, now I've got something to join against and that I don't have a period balance in period one is okay. Because now I can replace that null with a zero. I think you'll get the idea here. Um, so I'm going to grab my GL account table and I'm going to grab my fiscal period. So my fiscal period table is actually one of my favorite tables to use and sometimes I use it in different kind of odd situations because um, it's a nice table that has a list of uh, dates in it. It's got beginning and ends of months so if you needed to say do something like parts in a month you could join parts to your fiscal periods as strange as that seems and then do something with it. So um, the only join that I'm going to do on this is actually company versus company. Um, I am going to do a couple of things here on this GL account. I'm actually going to reference just a specific GL account. I just don't want too many records. And I'm also going to ignore multiple charts, and I'm only going to look at one year. Okay, so what do I need out of here? Well, I should always grab company. I need my account, and I need a fiscal year and fiscal period. Let's see what I get now. All right, so now I've got GL account, fiscal year, and fiscal period. Now this is going to be my starting point that I'm going to use to join against my period balances. All right, so let's come back to our top level query. I'll grab the subquery that we just made. Oops. Sorry, I gotta change this back to my top level and this back to my inner. Now I'll have a subquery. All right, so I've got my account periods. I 
as well display these items. Now let's bring in our GL period balance. Actually, I do want to do a filter on this anyways. Uh, I'm only going to look at the main book. Obviously, these should be a little bit more robust. I didn't want to deal with the multiple book piece in this because I just want to give an example, and a fairly simple example. So I'm just going to filter this down to the main book. Um, and I'm going to join this on company is equal to company and uh, account is equal to account and fiscal year is equal to fiscal year and fiscal period is equal to fiscal period. All right, now I just need to make this and outer join I'll make a new calculated field for my balance now I know all my records aren't going to be here so I'm going to if I don't have a, a record I'm going to make I'm going to use the is null and turn my nulls into zeros So now I get all my periods and I get balances all the way down. And if I don't have a balance, it replaces the null with a zero. Um, I can just bring this over so you can see what it would look like if I didn't have that calculated field with the is null. You can see that'd be blank, which isn't very nice. All right, so that gives me all my periods. Uh, let's do a year to date also. Um, there are other ways to do this. Um, you can certainly do a sum with a uh, partition by statement in there. Um, that's a good way to do it. I'm doing this way because I don't have to look up the syntax on it. Um, Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my period balance again and I'm going to make my joins, but I'm going to make my joins a little bit different this time. And my company and my company and my account and my account. And then I've got my fiscal year, my fiscal year. And now for my fiscal period, my two fiscal periods, I'm actually going to do a less than or equal in here um, so that I'm going to get all of the fiscal periods that are less than or equal to the current fiscal period or the period called out in there. All right, now we need a calculated field in here for our year to date. And we're going to sum all these values up. We're going to sum our balances. Oops. Can't forget about our null. Got to put our null in there. All right. So we're going to sum them with our null. And then we're going to group by everything else we had before the year to date. And we're going to run that. I turned it in kind of funny order, but once we sort it, we can see that we get the expected results. We've got our balances showing in all the months, and we've got our year to date increasing. All right, uh, that should do it. Um, this is, I just want to make sure point out that this is relevant for other things besides for fiscal periods. I've used this same idea for um, like sales 
monthly sales per customer or uh, part transactions per month or any time that you've got this kind of collection that you're grouping by and you want to make sure that you always have a record in there so that you can show your zeros instead of having no value.